have used yellow for the skin colouring, particularly in the Goddess series of paintings, because it gives an unusual, unexpected surprise to people because it's not flesh tone, it's something unexpected, it gives a sense of the exotic, I think. In the far south of Australia, the city of Adelaide is known for its rich cultural life. It is the place chosen by Linda Lee, painter, to practice her craft. Adelaide can be a fantastic place for artists. It's um, a very supportive artist community. So there's always lots going on, in particular with the Adelaide Festival and Fringe. We have an entire month of um, creative people doing creative things, so that's quite unique in Australia. Central markets are a really vibrant part of the city. Lots, lots to do, always lots of people, really, really busy. It's uh, one of the most exciting places to go to when you visit Adelaide. Once or twice a week, I like to head out to the market, grab a coffee before heading home, and then maybe off to the studio. The yellow door that we have at the front of our studio is a very bright yellow, very visible from the road for passers-by. I would consider it a welcoming yellow. Yellow can mean lots of things, but this would be, I would say, a very cheerful, come on in and have a look, yellow. I guess I describe myself as a colorist. I'm a very interested in color. Color, not in the sense of describing an object. Uh, color in the sense of talking about an emotion that it might evoke or a feeling. I tend to like thinking about how colours sit with each other, maybe fight with each other, and sometimes a painting can be repainted over because certain colours are fighting and you need to change something here and then you might need to change something there. I try to look at using colour that will sometimes conflict with the subject matter that I'm working with. I don't like to represent objects using true colour. I tend to try and look at maybe using surprising colour. Something that will make you stop and think a bit, well, that's not quite right, that shouldn't be that colour. Why is that that colour? How does that make me feel when I look at the work? I'm interested in posing those sorts of questions. I've used yellow for the skin colouring, particularly in the Goddess series of paintings, because it gives an unusual, unexpected surprise to people. Because it's not flesh tone, it's something unexpected, it gives a sense of the exotic, I think. Also, those bright primary colours like yellow tend to give it almost a pop feel, sort of reference a lot or that whose work has influenced me a lot would be Frida Kahlo and Leger as well. At the moment I'm working on painting a series of skulls. I guess to me they have an aesthetic beauty. There's something that really interests me. I find them very beautiful. Again, I have a contrast to in my work, so often the background will be something unusual. I've never been too interested in realism. I like to use um, unexpected ideas, put contradictory 
backgrounds to create something different. So one of the other artists here, Tom, is a um, very, very fast painter. He, he's unusual in the sense that he actually uses his hands to paint with instead of a brush. He's a very expressive painter. He works in a completely different way to what I do. He's very spontaneous. He approaches a blank canvas works with his hands and just works very quickly. He'll complete a whole canvas in a day. As opposed to me, I need to, I need to think about what I'm doing. I need to have some sort of map before I begin and the process is generally quite a long one. Seven Australian artists share this location. The Yellow Door Studio is both a place of creation and exhibition. This space is fabulous. We're, we're really so lucky to be here. What's great about it is it's such a supportive group of people. It's fantastic to have other people come and look at your work, have an input. You can do the same with others. So there's a really great um, opportunity to bounce ideas off each other. Throughout the country, the yellow colour of Australia is related to the history of its rocks. The Pinnacles Desert is located in Nambung National Park in Western Australia. It's like an outdoor geological theatre. With its standing stones made of limestone, this place is even more impressive when considering that it's located on top of sand dunes spreading along the Indian Ocean. The story of these mysterious stone needles, created by erosion and measuring more than four metres high in some places, begins in the depths of the sea. These pinnacles are made of fossilised shellfish and take on a variety of shapes. They remind us that long ago, this desert was covered with water. 